Have you ever heard anyone say, I was spanked growing up, but it turned out okay? Well, we now know that they didn't turn out okay because of the spanking, but it was despite the spanking they still did okay. But have you wondered, how could this be? Well, stay tuned to find out the answer and watch until the end of the video for all the tips that would make you even more of an awesome parent. Welcome back, mom and dad. Today, I'm going to talk about what's known as resilience. Resilience refers to one's ability to bounce back from adversity. So more resilient you are, you are more likely to be able to cope and handle difficult challenges without crumbling under pressure and spiraling out of control. This is why some people who face trauma such as spanking growing up can still turn out okay while many others end up with issues. So resilience is a good thing and you want lots of it for your child. In order to understand resilience a bit better, we need to know what are the factors that affect it. A study in 2007 showed possible positive factors that would contribute to fostering resilience in at-risk children. They also found that these factors were accumulative in that when more of these factors were present, a child had much better chances at adapting positively to difficult circumstances. However, they also found that negative factors worked exactly the same way in that they were cumulative in their effects too. A study from 2003 showed that impaired parenting, a neglectful and abusive home environment, marital conflicts, family instability, family violence, and high exposure to adverse family life events were some of the key negative effects that could decrease a child's resilience. In fact, a child exposed to six or more of these negative factors were two and a half times more likely to develop a behavioral disorder such as substance abuse and 1.8 times more likely to develop internalized disorders such as depression and anxiety disorders. So we know what are the factors that are bad but let's focus on the positive. What are the factors that affect the fostering of resilience in a positive way? There are mainly three categories of factors that affect resilience in a positive way. And they are family factors, such as good parenting, sound parental mental health, and absence of alcohol or substance abuse. There is individual factors, such as emotional regulations, self-esteem, empathy, and favorable genes. And lastly, community factors such as close relationship with the parent and safe environment. It's important to know that, that some of these factors have greater influence than others. A study was done in 2018 at the University of Minnesota, which showed that child's resilience mostly depends on their connections to other people rather than their own inherent qualities. So yes, there is a genetic component to the resilience, but how your child is raised and in what environment has a significant impact. This is why having a positive relationship with your child is incredibly important when trying to build resilience. So what should we do as a parent? Adopt an authoritative parenting style, as recommended by many researchers. This style of parenting is based on high responsiveness and high expectations for your child. So parents adopting this style would typically be warm and responsive to the child's emotions, which helps to develop emotional regulation, empathy, and high self-esteem, which are all considered important positive factors contributing to resilience. By the way, if you'd like to find out more about authoritative parenting style, check out the video I made using the link up here. And while you're at it, if you found value in this video, please hit that like button. So in addition to adopting a particular parenting style, what else can you do to foster resilience? You can teach your child problem solving skills. By being able to cope with challenges through problem solving, your child will develop a sense of control and understand how to handle frustrations so your child does not end up feeling trapped. This key skill will help your child to grow in resilience. And lastly, you can work towards creating an environment that feels safe and stable for your child. Learning to trust and love themselves as well as others starts from home. And providing a healthy environment allows that process to happen without fear or anxiety. 
get involved with your child through conversations and see what you can do to foster a positive environment at school and with their friends too. Key to building resilience in your child is understanding that it's an ongoing process and that as a parent, we have the biggest role in it. So don't try to do everything at once and be overwhelmed. Take it one step at a time to improve the chances of your child becoming more resilient. I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. As always, thank you for watching and happy parenting.